Hey y'all, thanks for joining me here today and clicking on my video. Um, so today I'm doing my first plan with me in my mini planner. I used to use a mini planner about a year and a half ago uh, as a budgeting and kind of a plan or catch all kind of planner. Um, but then I just kind of found that I wasn't using it and then I just wanted to stick to one planner and just use my classic, which I use for, you know, work, home, kind of everything. Um, and now that I'm doing YouTube and trying to use my planning Instagram regularly. Um, I was really finding myself wanting a social media planner and I didn't have room in my classic with all my work and home stuff um, to really kind of plan out my social media activity for my plan planning with cast stuff. So I found this old planner in a drawer. It was actually undated and there's only I think uh, three or four months in it, so I'm not going to be able to use it for the entire year, but I just, I mean, why not use what I have, right? So I made this um, April, so I'm starting it in April, and I'm just going to kind of use up the um, pages that I have before buying a new one, especially in quarantine, right? So um, here I'm just decorating my monthly. I typically don't decorate monthlies, and I really don't even refer to them. But for this, I thought that actually using the monthly would be pretty uh, beneficial because this month I am doing uh, hand plans on Instagram. I'm doing her April plans challenge. And there is a different prompt for every single day. And so I thought that I would decorate this in kind of a spring theme, you know, and then use the monthly to list out every single prompt um, for, and that's what I'm writing now, to list out all the prompts for each day for the challenge. That way I don't forget about them. And you can see on my phone there, I had it pulled, her graphic pulled up um, to write down all of the prompts. So that way I won't forget them. So that's what I'm doing here. And I have to keep tapping my screen. Uh, <laughs> because it keeps going dark and that drives me crazy. I need to change that setting, but I just haven't done it. So um, if you guys are on Instagram, I encourage you to try this challenge, even if, um, you know, if you want to start it now, you don't have to do all of them or at least to use it for inspiration because I think she has some really cool prompts for the month. Um, and this kind of holds me accountable to try different things for, um, you know, doing different spreads and being more creative and just kind of uh, gets me thinking and motivates me and excites me to um, do different things in my planner. And then, you know, I get excited about how I'm going to photograph it and, you know, how to make it interesting. So that was my monthly and that's what I did for that. And so now I'm moving on to uh, this week. And I haven't done a weekly layout in a mini in quite some time. So um, since this one is undated, I went through and found in my Brights book um, the little numbers just to date the week. So that is April 6th through 12th. So I'm just laying down those little stickers from the Brights book to uh, put my dates on there since it's an undated planner. And this will help me just kind of keep track of my social media plans for the week. And now I'm pulling out the mini seasonal book. I've had this book for a long time. I knew it had something for Easter in it. And since Easter is on Sunday the 12th, I thought that I would put an Easter sticker. So I put visit the Easter Bunny, even though I'm 27 and I'm not gonna be visiting an Easter Bunny, but how to use an Easter sticker. <laughs> And so I'm just kind of going through, seeing, you know, what else is on there as far as Easter. And kind of flipping through, seeing what kind of spring stickers are in there. There's a lot of really pretty stickers in that book. That is the, um, I have the seasonal book. And then the other one I was using was the mini Choose Happy book, which I will go back to for a few stickers for this weekly spread. And I'm trying to um, 
make it decorative and make it fun, but not use too many stickers and take up too much room because I need the room to write. Um, particularly in a mini when you have just a lot less room. <laughs> so yeah, because that was like when I used to use my mini for budgeting, um, I found that I couldn't really decorate it because like I needed the room. So what I do now, uh, if you're interested, is I use my classic planner and I just use filler paper or I have these um, big sticky notes that are actually designed for a mini planner. And I use those and I just write down the way I do it is I budget um, per like payday. So I'll just go through, write down the payday, write down, you know, the paycheck amount and then write down all my bills due um, for that pay period. And that's just how I keep track of it. I found that I just didn't really need a whole planner for it. And I, I have like an Excel sheet to, to track a lot of things and it automatically, you know, adds and subtracts things and makes it a little easier for um, just tracking expenses. So that's why I stopped using a specific budget planner. And again, this is the uh, Choose Happy mini book. You can see I used a lot of those florals. I used those in my, um, used those florals for my layout in my classic last week. I love those flowers. So now I'm going down through the days here and listing all the things I wanna do. Um, and the way I'm doing it is, you know, for today, when this video goes up, I'm writing post mini plan with me on YouTube which obviously I did, right? Um, and then post a photo of my mini monthly spread on Instagram and Facebook, and that is for the April Plans Challenge. Make a sheet of April goals and photograph, and then share YouTube video link in Mambi Facebook group. And so the sheet of April goals is because Tuesday the 7th, that prompt is um, April goals for the April Plans Challenge. So just kind of trying to, I'm trying to avoid just kind of flying by the seat of my pants when it comes to social media because a lot of times I'll just be in a creative mood and I'll just try to like do everything at once. So I would like wake up in the morning, take the photo and post the photo all within like the same hour. Whereas now I'm trying to like get ahead of it, give myself more time, take the photo in advance, you know, film in advance and then schedule when I'm going to post rather than just kind of haphazardly doing it. And so I'm just trying to think of, you know, what I'm going to do for each day. I'm really trying to plan it out. And a lot of it right now is based around that um, April plans challenge, which I'm thankful for because it gives me more content for my Instagram. And it's just uh, something fun, something different. So here I was trying to figure out, do I write anything in the notes section? I decided not to just to kind of keep it blank uh, in case I needed that note section throughout the week to jot anything down related to social media for the week. And that's about it for this week's mini plan with me. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe if you haven't. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.